Today on the channel from Star Wars Episode 1, we've got Opie and Qui-Gon Jinn. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel. Today we continue our daily Star Wars unboxings in 2021 with Opie and Qui-Gon Jinn. But remember for all your modern day Star Wars needs, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So we continue with the Star Wars Phantom Menace Episode 1, Power of the Force, Power of the Jedi, you name it, videos. And you guys know I always love these little grandma box sets, as I call them. I always say these are the kind of uh, packages you get from your grandma when, you know, she's taking you to Target or Walmart or a drugstore back in the day. And you're begging grandma, buy me something, please. She's not going to buy you one of the big vehicles. She's not going to buy you that big Rancor set. But she would get you one of these smaller type vehicles or something like that. And that's where these would end up. That's why I call them Grandma Vehicles. Uh, and the Opie is a very interesting one. I don't remember this being called Opie in The Phantom Menace. Maybe I'm wrong. It's been a while since I've seen it. I just definitely remember the scene with the fish and the jaws and all that fun stuff. But I don't remember it being actually called out by name. Uh, if I'm wrong, you guys can let me know in the comments. But we're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to open it up. Put it together, probably, maybe, if uh, it has to be put together. Talk about it, finish it up, and away we go. So, let's take a look at the packaging first. You got that window box with Qui-Gon Jinn there. He's got a spear with him. And then you got a uh, picture of the Opie right there on the front with Qui-Gon on the size. On the size, on the side. A typical Phantom Menace Episode 1 box we've seen uh, from a lot of different figures. Uh, a lot of Jar Jar being set similar to this with different weapons and you name it. I got that familiar Darth Maul picture up there up top. You got that one right there. There he is standing next to him. Same thing on the other side. Not too different on that side. Opie and Qui-Gon Jinn with snapping jaws. There it is again. Got the Hasbro logo right down in the corner as well on there. And let's see what the back says here. There it is. And you got a little uh, publicity photo of the other ones in the line. Darth Maul up top. We'll read the word, see what it says. You got some Jedi Master Points. 20 of them for buying this thing. I have no recollection of those Jedi Points going anywhere. Uh, you guys can tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember that. In an attempt to recruit the amphibious Gungans in their fight against the greedy Chariot Federation, Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Jar Jar are being swim to the vast underwater city of Otagunga. Uh, not so nice this time of year. It's their bad time of year right now. It's, I think, winter down there. Uh, on their return, the trio is attacked by a gigantic, ravenous OPC creature whose voracious jaws threaten to spell the end for the Jedi and crush all hopes for the planet of Nab Naboo. So there you go. Let's get it open. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on with this old Opie character. If I can get him out. There it is. There's the box. See you later. Oh, we got some tape. Oh, we got Qui-Gon locked in. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. Well, that came out very easily. There's nothing locked. Well, I take that back. Locked in on the feet, but we'll get the old trusty scissors out. There it is. We're going to put this guy together. I don't see any instructions, so it should be fairly easy. Question is, do the small legs go on the front or the back? Oof, I don't know. I don't know. Shouldn't have thrown the box, huh? What would you get for uh, getting rid of that box so soon? Um... I don't know if it matters a whole lot, so I'm going to go with the small legs in the back. There it is. I think that's right anyways. I think I got it right. How's this OP thing work? Oh, look at that. So he's got these two antennas up top here. Not a huge fan of these things. Uh, obviously, he has them, but they're, I don't know, they kind of get in the way a little bit, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, very similar uh, to a lobster in the leg department, so I guess it's a big Jaws type fish with lobster mixed to it. Sounds delicious. I feel like I should go to Red Lobster and pick one up. Uh, but you got a little button. It really blends in perfectly, this button on here. You got that, and bam. He's that mouth's open. He's ready to eat. Great teeth detail work on this one. He's got two rows of teeth in there, as you can see, maybe. 
Very, very solid. You guys know I love these Star Wars beasts. I love the Rancors. I love the Wampas. I love the Wookiees and the Ewoks. The Opies, eh. I liked Opie a lot better when he was on the Andy Griffith show. I thought he was a lot better. Better behaved, for sure. He wasn't trying to eat people back then, but... You know, you get older and, you know, things happen. It's Hollywood. And then uh, next thing you know, you're uh, playing a fish in a Star Wars movie. That's the way it goes. But very solid. I like this. You also got articulation on the fins. So you can move those whatever way you want. Uh, for these cheaper little toy playset vehicles, whatever you want to call them, whatever category you say they fall into, this isn't terrible. I don't know where exactly this goes on a shelf. I'm not really planning on having an underwater... Uh, scene in my shelf. That's such a small part of the Star Wars universe. Uh, maybe I could have him chase an old Admiral Akbar underwater. I don't know. But I like this thing. I like it actually more than I thought I was going to like it. So you always, we always know that's a, a positive. I'm just not sure if the feet, I'm pretty sure that's the right way. I'm positive that is the right way. It just stands kind of weird, looks kind of weird. I don't know. All right, let's get the old Qui-Gon out of here. It's amazing for this cheap figure how buckled in he is. They cared about these uh, Phantom Menace figures a lot back in the day. Where can I get him out of here? Oh, he's buckled in in three spots. It's unbelievably amazing. Can I get him? Can we get him out? Come on, Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon is a underrated Jedi. I actually liked him a lot. I was kind of sad to see him die in Phantom Menace. Spoiler alert. But it is what it is. I can't, we can't all live forever. All right, we got him out. And we're going to get this. See you later. Get out of here. To the garbage dump with you. All right, Qui-Gon. This Qui-Gon's very weird. I always... This is one of those, I'm sure you guys have done it with your figures too. If you're walking a store, you see something like this at the store, you look at it quick, you understand it, but you don't sit there and stare at it for understanding. That's how I was with this Qui-Gon figure for the longest time. I remember uh, way back in like 99 when this came out, all the way till modern day when I finally picked this up, I always thought, man, the paint apps on this one are absolutely terrible. Uh, they got like this big, uh, weird black mustache thing going on him. Uh, you can probably see it there around his face. Uh, I thought, man, wh why did they mess that up? How, who who was painting that? Well, now I finally understand. See you later. I finally understand that that's his breathing apparatus. They put that in. It's molded on, but it looks like it's part of his beard. It looks like a darker part of his beard like they messed it up. So that's kind of funny. After like 21 years or whatever it's been since this came out, I always thought just terrible paint application. Uh, that's just the way it goes. He does come with this spear as, as shown. And he does have his uh, lightsaber on his waist, so that's not terrible for these little cheaper figures. It's funny how we thought these figures were so great back in the day when they came out. Uh, you know, I don't know if they were g quite game changer level, but they were pretty cool. We all thought, hey, these are great figures. Now kids see these or people see these and they say, oh, was that a McDonald's toy? I mean, that's the evolution of action figures. That's uh, what has changed over all these years. Uh, so then you got the Opie. You can put them together. Uh, he does fit in Opie's mouth a little bit. A little bit, not a ton, but you know, you can uh, make your own scenes, choose your own adventure. Oh, Qui-Gon, he didn't get killed by Darth Maul, he got killed by Opie from uh, Andy Griffith's show. Uh, Aunt B couldn't be far behind, keeping eyes on him. Um, but not terrible. I mean, this is what it is. Uh, you're not expecting uh, Star Wars Black Series articulation. You're not expect expecting next level stuff with this Opie. It's a kid's toy for back in 1999. Uh, but better than expected on this. This actually is... It feels, uh, it doesn't feel hollow like a lot of toys do these days. Uh, it's got a little bit of a girth to it. Um, great action, works perfectly. Uh, a solid, solid piece, and for $9.99 for this too, you can't go wrong. Uh, check your own local toy stores. I'm sure if you're interested in this, you can find this cheap. Uh, it's also cheap on eBay. The bad part about eBay, you gotta pay that 10, 12 bucks shipping on this, which makes the price a little more. Uh, that's the only, uh, negative of the ebay world we live in is having to pay that shipping and we all know shipping prices keep going up every single day it seems like uh but i'm glad i got this i'm kind of disappointed i didn't pick this up back in the day uh but i was just all out as we talked before on the channel on phantom menace but hey right and wrong now I'm, i got it now i got opie i got qui-gon with the breathing apparatus and the spear i'm ready to party so hopefully you guys are too hopefully you enjoyed the review don't forget to like the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel 
Don't forget to comment. Did you ever pick this one up? Any thoughts on this one for you guys out there? A bit of a sleeper set. And like I said before, I love the Rancors, the Wampas, the monsters of the Star Wars universe. Not quite to put ready to put Opie in that category, but uh, he's a monster in the Star Wars universe. A sea monster. So you guys tell me your thoughts on this one. And uh, Besides that, we'll be back tomorrow with another Star Wars unboxing. Hopefully I'll see you guys all there. So for Kyle, that's me. For Qui-Gon and Opie, that's them. I'll see you guys all real soon.